boys and girls, and welcome to episode nine. So what is special about this episode, Ms. Ziani? You told me that the pupils will need their school books, won't they? Well, yes, they will need their school books, page 96. So please make sure you have them in front of you because we are going to interpret a letter from the book and then we are going to express past habits using use to plus the infinitive and then revise the past simple and the pronunciation of the final ED. To begin with, we would like you to open your books on page 96. And then, of course, you are going to read the letter and choose the sentence that best summarizes the letter or the content of the letter. And of course, here are the suggested sentences, okay? So, A, Anne recalls her childhood. B, Anne describes her visit to a museum. C, Anne describes the Algerian Sahara in the past. And D, Becky recounts the doc documentary she saw or she has seen about uh, the Sarah. Okay, and of course, the best sentence that summarizes the content of the letter is uh, sentence C and describes the Algerian Sarah in the past. I think you got it right. Now, let's move to another activity. What do the following pronouns refer to in the letter? A, it, in line five. B, they, in line seven. C, them, in line 16. Did you get the right answers? Sure, I'm sure you, you did. So for A, it refers to the Sahara. They, refers to cavemen. And finally, them refers to pictures. Well, now, are you ready for the next activity? Sure, listen to me carefully. So, in this activity, you are going to choose the correct definition for these words. Number one, desert. A, a sweet course at the end of a mill. B, an area of land covered with sand or rock. C, boots with laces. And finally, D, an urban place. So, did you get the right answer? It is obvious that B is the right one. So, a desert is an urban, I mean, an area of land covered with sand or rock. Now, number two, friscos. A, a fresh drink. B, caricature published in newspapers. C, pictures painted on the walls of caves. D, ceramic tiles of ancient houses. So, what about this one? What is the right definition? I think it is number, I mean, it is C. So, frescoes, pictures painted on the walls of caves. Now, number three. Lake. A. Land surrounded by water. B. A small river. C. An area of water surrounded by land not connected to the sea. And finally, D. A large area of water connected to the sea. So what is the right definition here for lake? It is C. An area of water surrounded by land not connected to the sea. Well, now let's focus on the grammar from the text, all right? So, how do we talk about the pa past habit, Mr. Zian? Of course, we talk about past habits using use to. So, le and of course, it is a semi model. Exactly. So, use to is a semi model, it's a special verb, okay? And in the following uh, um, examples, we are going to see how we can use it to talk about past habits. Well, the first one the Sahara used to be a green land with rivers and big lakes. We have used to be. Here we have used to plus the base form of the verb, which is be. And it means that something was true or a habit 
in the past. Let's see now the second example. The caveman wore the skins of animals they hunted. Wore and hunted, this is they express true things, true facts that happened in the past. But let's see the second one. The caveman used to wear the skins of animals they used to hunt. Of course, here, used to plus the verb express a past habit. So here is a small reminder about the semi-model used to. The Algerian Sahara used to be a fertile land. The affirmative form here is the subject plus used to plus the base form of the verbs. Okay, that's really very interesting, Ms. Ziani. And I think now it is time to apply what you have learned by doing the next activity. So have a look at the pictures and tell me which pictures represent the past and which ones represent the, the, um, the present. Okay? So, can you see now the answers now? So, on the left side, you see the pictures that represent the past. And on the, left, um, on the right side, you see the pictures that represent the present. Well, now let's move to the pre let's we are going to use the previous pictures, okay, to do the following activity, all right? So you're going to rewrite the sentences using used to plus the verb or the infinitive form, okay? Number one, in the past, young people wore burnouses. Now they wear jeans and t shirts. So here it's very easy. Follow with me. In the past, young people used to wear bonuses. Now they wear jeans and t-shirts. Wore, which was, in, which was in the past, became here in the infinitive because it is preceded by used to. We will do the same thing with the following. Two, in the past, people traveled on horseback. Now they travel by car, train, or plane. So the answer will be, in the past, people used to travel on horseback. Now they travel by car, train, or plane. Number three, in the past, Algerian women covered themselves with a hayek. Now they put on modern clothes. So the answer will be, in the past, Algerian women used to cover themselves with a hayek. Now they put on modern clothes. That's really perfect, Ms. Ziani. Now let's see together how, to, I mean, how you, to use used to in the negative form. So let's have a look at the following examples. Now, they wear jeans and t-shirts. In the past, they did not use to wear jeans and t-shirts. Now, they travel by cars, trains, or planes. So in the past, they did not use to travel by car, train, or plane. Used to in the negative form. Have a look at the example. The Algerian Sahara did not use to be a desert. So the negative form, I mean the negative form is subject plus didn't use to plus base form of the verb. Used to in the interrogative form. What did the caveman use to wear? The interrogative form is did plus subject plus used to plus verb base form. Well, and now it is time to practice, all right? To practice the interrogative form with the following activity where you need to complete the conversation about cavemen. Follow with me. So, where people in the Sahara, we have the verb to live. It's a question. They look at the picture. Okay, so I think here is the answer. Where did people in the Sahara used to live? They used to live in caves. Number two, or the second picture. What to do for their living? They, the picture is in, the, the, the answer is in the picture, sorry. So the question will be, what did they used to do for their living? The answer, they used to hunt animals. The next one, you have the picture of a spear. So what to hunt with? They 
Mm -hmm. So, what did they use to hunt with? All right, they used to hunt with spears. Next one, to paint. So, the picture is clear. So, did they use to paint? And the answer will be, of course, yes, they did. They used to paint frescoes inside the caves where they lived. All right, clear? Good. Okay. So, Miss Yanni, mm -hmm. since we are talking about past experiences, okay, I think it will be a good idea to review the past simple tense. So, together, let's have a look at the following examples. From a letter taken from MS2 book. So, as you can see the letter here, we have some time markers like yesterday, Three days ago, 30,000 years ago, two weeks ago. So all these, as you can see, are time markers. And from the other side, you can see past, I mean verbs in the past simple, like arrived, went, lived, told, got, made, and where. Okay? So, as a reminder, I tell you that we use the past simple to talk about actions finished in the past with specified time. Example, three days ago, I went to the Tassili. So, three days ago here is past time marker. Went is a regular verb in the past simple. Remember, the rule for regular verbs is base form plus ed. Example, caveman lived everywhere. And uh, here is a small reminder about the pronunciation of the final ed. It has three different pronunciations, verbs in the past simple and also adjectives. So for the t, like verbs ending with Sh, ch, I mean, th like loft, uh, uh, th like breath, and s like kissed, and c like danced, and finally x like uh, fixed. Now for d, we have l, n, I mean verbs ending in l, n, r, G, V, S, W, Y, and Z. For example, with L, called, and for example, with N, cleaned. Now, finally, with ED, verbs ending in T, like wanted, and verbs ended, I mean, in uh, that end in D, like, I mean, uh, needed. So, Listen and classify the following words according to the pronunciation of the final ed. Seemed, painted, used, added, cropped, traveled, surrounded, talked. Connected, published, covered, hunted, cooked, interested, saved, and finally practiced. Okay? Have a look now at the right answers. They are all in yellow. Okay, so is there any? Well, no? now, now we are going <coughs> to move to the negative form, all right, <coughs> of the verbs in the past simple and also the interrogative form. Check with me the following reminder. So, 
Cavemen didn't live in houses and they didn't buy their food. So the negative form of a regular and irregular verb comes as follows. Did not plus the base form of the verb. All right. And here is another one. The Algerian Sarah wasn't a desert. So the negative form of the auxiliary to be where you need to be careful is with I, he, she, it. Was not, with you, we, and they, it will be where not. Well, now in the interrogative form, we have what did the caveman wear? The verb here is wear. And what did they paint? The verb here, verb here is to paint. So here in general, when you ask a question in the past, we have did plus subject plus the verb, which is in the base form, the rest of the question, then the question mark. Be careful with the verb to be when you ask questions in the past. So it will be was or where plus the subject and then the rest of the question. Like example, was the caveman intelligent? Okay, and with where, be careful. It's going to be with, with we and they and you. All right, good. Now, that's clear. Let's move to the next part with the following exercise where you are going to practice. So here, you need to put the verbs in the correct form in the past simple. Follow with me the text. When Anne go to the Sarah, she visit the Tassili in Janet, but she not travel to Tamanrasset. Of course, she take pictures of the different places she visited. By the way, what learn about the Algerian Sarah? And of course, check with me now the answers for this exercise. The first one, go, becomes went. Visit, visited, not travel, didn't travel, take, took, learn, what did she learn in the interrogative form. Well, Ms. Ziani, I think we have come to the end of this episode, haven't we? Yes, you are right, sir. That's, it's the end of today's episode. So, see you next time. See you.